guess Jimmy Dos Sanchez, they portrayed him as a hitman, this, that. I mean, I guess he was a very serious person. From what I've seen of him on the street, I personally think he couldn't have hit his way out of a paper bag. Bindi, I'm here, and I'm bad mouthing you, buddy. Okay? If you want to talk about nobody, if, if anybody's a nobody, buddy, maybe that's why your life is worth a loony on the streets today. I wouldn't shoot you in the back, but I'd do it right face to face, square in the forehead. Weeks later, Ron Desange met the same fate as his brother. He was shot as he was driving his truck along Kingsway. Vancouverites were shocked at the brazen daylight shooting. Police quickly rounded up Joe Hall and others involved in the drug turf war. Six were charged with the first degree murders of Ron and Jim Desange. Just want these guys to know you got another thing coming, bitch. I'm still around. He wasn't around long. Bindi Joe Hall's fast life came to a fast end. The 911 call comes in at 1.37 a.m. A shot had been fired on a crowded dance floor in the Palladium nightclub. The man who hits the floor with a single bullet in the back of the head is Bindi Johal. He is rushed to hospital, but dies four hours later. Hey, buddy. There were approximately 300 people in the club at the time the shooting occurred. The dance floor was reportedly packed at the time. Uh, once the shot was fired, there was a state of pandemonium, I'm told, in the nightclub itself. And it appears that the shooter was able to slide away in the crowd during the chaos undetected. Police acknowledge that they do have a surveillance video taken inside the club at the time of the shooting, but won't reveal what, if anything, they've found on it. We do know that 15 seconds after the shooting, an alarm went off at the rear of the building, and it's through this door that the killer likely made his getaway. It's fair to say that Mr. Johal, through his lifestyle and his activities, put himself at risk. There's absolutely no question. I mean, he ran with the criminal element. I got the cameras out of my face. I might have to remove them. It's all right. He was arrogant, cocky, an accused killer, and self-admitted drug dealer. Over the past couple of years, he amassed a long list of enemies. Police have a semi-automatic pistol, but don't know who the hitman is. It was just a couple of months ago that Bindi associate Peter Gill was fired on at his home. Gill is in hiding, but called his family this morning to say he's very upset. In the past year, three other Joe Hall associates have been murdered, and gunshot wounds have left another in a wheelchair. Mr. Joe Hall had been making it uh, known uh, himself that he had been advised that he was a target and that he was on a hit list that was out there. At the Joe Hall home in New Westminster, friends and family filed in all day to mourn a man whose flamboyant lifestyle had made him the target in a gangland hit.